So I think we can probably almost all agree that dabbling in the occult is probably never a really good idea, okay? If you listen to the show for any significant amount of time, there's a lot of cautionary tales, so to speak, of folks who have uh, who've gone down that path. But we are all young, and a lot of us are quite dumb uh, in some of those uh, younger years. And sometimes we explore things that we shouldn't be dabbling into. In this week's EPP bonus episode of Real Ghost Stories Online, we hear the story of someone who goes down the road, dabbles in the occult a bit, and then sees the results firsthand in the form of what they feel was a demon down the hall in their home in the middle of the night. A demon that wasn't all too happy to see them either. Get up out of bed, just your eyes. What is that down there? Is that, is there something down the hall? Is there, is there a ghost down there? Oh no, that's just a, a, a wine poster down my hall. But, uh, but it does kind of look like a shadow man, doesn't it? This kind of, kind of shadow man Yeah. Sandman? Yeah, kind of. But anyway, it's not that. It's not a wine poster in this person's experience. It is something pretty dark. It's quite a... Uh, a, a harrowing, creepy, creepy experience. If you want to hear the full story of what uh, what they did, what happened, uh, find out when you become an EPP and you listen to EPP 156 of Real Ghost Stories Online. You can get it at ghostpodcast.com. Check it out right there. It's, uh, it's a dark one. It's a good one. It's another cautionary tale in case you're sitting there on the fence of, should we be doing uh, this occult stuff right now or, or not? Uh, uh, this may may sway you to uh, to not, okay? Just just in case you're looking for something like that. Ghostpodcast.com. Check it out. Keep us on the air. Uh, and uh, become an EPP at ghostpodcast.com. Thank you and enjoy.